Inhale, fill up. Open up. Press lower back into the floor, belly to spine, and empty complete. For this one, maybe take your hands to your low belly. And as you fill up, feel your belly rise toward the ceiling. And then open the mouth, exhale, belly to spine, lower back presses into the floor. And when you feel like you're empty, see if you can hold it there. Keep pressing out the air. And then find an inhale through the nose. And this time, exhale through the nose, starting to come into your ujjayi breath. Continuing to inhale and exhale slowly, making that oceanic sound. If your knees are open, take your hands to your thighs and gently guide your knees together. <clears throat> You can pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side along your sacrum. And then bring your feet down, back down to the earth, setting up for a bridge pose. So walk your heels in towards your feet. Bring your hands down by your side. You should be able to graze your heels with your fingers. On an inhale, start to lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Bring your chin away from your chest and your chest towards your chin and start to lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. On an inhale, lift your arms up overhead and take them behind you, tops of your hands on the floor. <clears throat> Try not to let your knees splay out to the side. Keep them going straight forward. Keep lengthening tailbone to heel. Take another inhale. Exhale, lower your bum and your hands back down to the earth. From here, extend your legs up at a 45 degree angle. Just keep your shoulders and your head and everything down on the earth. Point your toes. Keep rooting your low back into the floor. So only bring your legs down as much as you can while really maintaining that. <laughs> Take another breath and then see if you can maintain that connection of lower back pressing into the floor and see if you can take your legs down a little bit lower here. <clears throat> Bend your knees and then bring your knees into your chest. And using your hands for a little leverage, see if you can rock back towards your shoulder blades a little bit, kind of pulling yourself into this tight ball. And then bring your feet back down to the earth just like we did in bridge, reach your fingertips forward and lift them. <clears throat> Starting to add a little bit more intensity to this and moving a little quicker. On an inhale, arms come overhead, lift your hips. <clears throat> Exhale, lower the hips down to the floor and lift up and reach forward. From here, see if you can lift the legs at that 45 degrees. Now lower them down to a hover. Bring your hands down to the mat, bend your knees, and pull into this tight ball. Maybe you rock back to your shoulder blades. Feet come back down to the earth. Inhale, lift up, reach up higher. Nice. Lower back down, hands down, lift the hips, arms come up overhead. Exhale, lower the hips and start to lift up, reach up. See if you can find a vasana reaching up higher. Point your toes. Lower down, arda navasana. <clears throat> maybe the hands come down, maybe you do it without the hands. Pull into a tight ball. You can wrap around your shins, you can keep the hands down. And then feet come down. Inhale, lift up, crunch up. Couple more times. Lower down, arms come overhead, lift the hips. <clears throat> Exhale, lower down. Your next inhale lifts you up, Navasana. Exhale, lower down, Ardhana. Knees come into the chest, roll back, squeeze in. Feet come down, inhale, lift up. Let's do one more. 
Lower it down, arms come over, head lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. On your inhale, lift up, Navasana. Exhale, Arnavasana. Feet come down, pull the knees into the chest. And then feet down, inhale, lift up, reach up. And then all the way down to the earth. Walk your feet out to the edges of your mat and then knock your knees together. You might even just take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, and just let the spine leave that here. Hmm. And then bring your knees into your chest. <clears throat> can rock side to side once again. You can rock forward and back. Take your time and we'll meet in a tabletop. <clears throat> so finding your tabletop pose, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So it can be tucked or not, depending on what's comfortable for you. And then just start to move into some cows and cats. Tipping the tailbone up, looking up. Exhale, press the mat away and round your spine. Inhale, belly drop, tailbone. Exhale, mount. You can move intuitively. Maybe you take C curves or peek over each shoulder, but just kind of stretching out through the front body that we just worked. We'll do some more. <laughs> you know my favorite thing is core. <clears throat> so taking a couple more rounds of breath here in your cow and cat, finding what you need. <clears throat> and then as you're ready, you start to come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes if they're not. Press into the mat and then cover your knees. Keep looking forward. So the crown of head goes forward, not dropping the head, not cranking the neck, pressing the mat away, and really engaging through your low core. Take one more breath here. Then on an exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. And breathe. Setting up your downward facing dog here, the hips distance apart, heels are reaching for the floor. So we press the mat away here, belly in and out, hips up and back. <clears throat> and don't forget about the knees, making sure that they're tracking right over your little toes. So if your knees kind of cave in the way mine do, really try to engage through your legs and pull the knees into a line. And breathe. Come high up onto your toes. Start to round it forward, round a plank in support. Finding that strong plank pose. Don't move through the upper back. Engaging through the core, engaging through the legs. Big breath in. On an exhale, up and back. Leading with the hips. Move forward like a wave, high up on the toes, round and forward, round and plank into foot. Exhale, go back, downward facing. One more, just like that, round and forward, round and plank into plank. Holy rebellion. Exhale, go back, downward facing. One more time, come forward to plank and hold it. <clears throat> From here, come down to your left forearm, come down to your right forearm, forearm plank. <clears throat> come up to your left hand, come up to your right hand. Come down to your right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand. Let that out. Left forearm, right forearm. Press into your left hand and then just come to side plank. But keep your feet staggered for this one. Reach the right arm up and then reach it overhead and find that side body stretch. 
Keep lifting your left hip away from the mat and look under your left arm. Yeah. All right, here we go. Right forearm comes down. Left forearm, press into your right hand, same thing. Keep the feet staggered, lift the left arm up, and then reach it overhead to find that side body stretch. Lift your right hip away from the mat. Maybe give your inner thighs a squeeze. Add long. Left forearm, right forearm, left hand, side plank. You can keep the feet staggered. If you'd like, you can stack. Either way works. Reach the arm overhead. From here, keep your left arm straight so really plug the shoulder into the socket. I want you to just hover the hips a little more away. And then inhale, lift up. Nice. Right forearm comes down. Left forearm. Right hand, side plank. Stagger or stack the feet. Lift up and then reach the left arm overhead. Cover the hips just a little more relaxed. Arm comes down by your side. And then inhale, lift up, reach up. Left forearm, right forearm, left hand, side plank. This time we do two of them. Cover the hips a little or a lot. Inhale, lift. Cover the hips. Inhale, lift. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, side plank. Lift up. And then hover the head for one. Inhale, left. And two. Inhale, left. Black back. Left forearm. Right forearm. Left hand. Side plank. This time we do three. Hover the hips. Inhale, left. Hover the hips. Inhale, left. One more time, hover and lift. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, side plank. Inhale, lift up. Hover the hips for three. And lift. For two. Inhale, lift. Last time, hover and lift. Come down to your forearm plank, left forearm. Right forearm and hold. Keep pressing into your hands and your forearms. Pull your belly in tight and breathe. Just one more breath here. Big breath. Exhale, release. Bring your hips all the way down to the floor. Untuck your toes. Think pose. Press the tops of your feet into the floor and then find some traction. So isometrically pull your elbows towards your hips. Open up the chest and the front body. Breathe. Ah, feels so good. <clears throat> and then tuck the toes. Engage the legs. Rest back up over the plank. Put your right hand down where your left elbow was. Left elbow, full plank. And then go back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Come high up onto your toes, round it forward, round it plank into plank. And this time we come all the way down to the belly. So hug your elbows in and lower all the way down as slowly as you can. Untuck your toes and take your legs wide to the edges of your mat. Take your hands off of your mat, tuck the fingers, elbows toward the skin. On an inhale, lift up. Mm, roll the shoulders back, maybe even look up. Keep pressing into the tops of your feet. Dip your left shoulder, look to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, dip the right shoulder, look left. Inhale, left. Exhale, dip the left, look right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, dip the right shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it all the way down back to your body, forehead down. Bring your feet 
more about hip distance. So not touching, but not as wide as they were before. And I want you to move your hands way back so they're back by your ribs. Hug your elbows in so they're going straight back. Starting with the baby cobra. On an inhale, lift your head and your chest. Keep the hands down for now. Roll the shoulders back. Press into the tops of the feet. Maybe you hover the hands. Keep pulling the elbows in. See if you can pull your belly off of the floor. Exhale, release. Walk your hands back a little more. <clears throat> Start with your baby cobra. Head and chest in. Lift up. Now, a little weight into the hands. Lifted cobra. Keep your hips down, but see if you can roll your shoulders back and really work the back body. Exhale, go back, child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touching, forehead to the feet. Hmm. Come back to your tabletop pose just to tuck the toes downward facing the Breathe. We're going to mix things up today and kind of start uh, with the opposite leg a little bit, do some things that are a little different, so keep an open mind. <clears throat> On an inhale, stretch your left leg high. Mm, bring your knee into your nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Look between your hands and step. Bring your right knee down to the earth. Untuck your toe and press the top of your foot into the earth. Just keep your hands down for now. Bring your chest forward. Start to work into the frontal hip on the right side. <clears throat> So to walk your hands up your left thigh, interlace the fingers, and above the knee, so don't press into the knee, just put a little pressure there. You can drive the hips down and forward, getting a little more stretch. You can stay. Maybe you keep those fingers interlaced and take them behind the head, and then just start to let your head fall back into your hands like a hammock. This is a great place to stay. If you still want more, you can extend the arms and make that Kali Mudra bell shape with your fingers and look up. And then your last option is to press into the top of the right foot and lift your knee. For three, two, and one. Gently release the knee down. Bring your hands down. Walk your right hand out to the mat. Left arm goes around. Grabbing for the top of your right foot. Getting a little quad stretch. If you're working into the quad stretch, just remember to roll your shoulder back. Lift the chest up. And then gently release. <clears throat> Hands come inside of the left foot as you lift your right knee and just pivot open toward the right for a wide left forward fold. Drop the head. <clears throat> Keep thinking heels out, toes in, so that your feet remain parallel and you're pressing through the outside edges of your feet. Engage the belly and walk the hands forward, finding this wide leg, downward facing dog. Again, using traction here to kind of pull the floor towards you with your hands, engaging the core, lifting the hips up. Walk the hands underneath you. Turn the fingers around. Maybe start to bend into the elbows a little bit as you roll the weight forward into the balls of your feet. Getting a little different stretch here. Hands come back underneath the heart. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale. Turn to face your right foot. So coming to the back of your space. And then left foot meets your right at the top of the mat. Toes touching, little space between the heels. Hands to the mat, your shins or your knees, finding something to press into as you lengthen and find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift down, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
One more time, inhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Think hips back, chest forward. Exhale. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, chair pose. Sit look. Stick your bum way out there and then find that subtle tuck, really engaging through the core. What's really important in this pose is not how far you sit or how low you sit, but really it's about engaging the core and the orientation of the spine, right? So not over tucking, <clears throat> not leaning forward, but trying to upright the spine as much as you can and engage the belly. On an inhale, lift up, stand up. Maybe you cactus the arms and open the heart, hips, go forward, chest lift up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward. Plant your palms, step back to your high plank pose. <clears throat> so option for knees, chest, chin, or on your toes, hinging it forward. Finding your vinyasa, so just coming down halfway, hug the elbows in, and then come to the top of your feet. Inhale for up dog or lifted cobra. Exhale, go back, downward facing dog. Take a breath here to reset. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, stretch your right leg. Exhale, knee to the side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to the side. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Look between the hands. Step there. And then left knee down to the earth. And tuck the toe. Just let the hips come forward. Keep the hands down and just start to find that stretch into the front of the left hip. <clears throat> Stay, maybe start to walk the hands up the thigh, interlace, and press down and forward. Option two, hands behind the head. Just let the head fall back, elbows toward the ceiling. Option three, extend the arms. Just bring your cheekbones, right? So the arms don't have to come way back, just right on either side of your cheek. Look up. Maybe start to press into the top of the left foot for a little extra. For two, two, and one. Knee comes down, <clears throat> hands come down. <clears throat> Walk the left hand off the mat. Right arm can come up and around. Maybe it grabs for the foot, getting a nice little quad stretch. You can even let the right knee fall out to the side. <clears throat> and then gently <clears throat> we come back to that wide leg forward fold. This time, pivoting open to the left. Let the head go. <clears throat> this time, let's take a shoulder stretch. So interlace the hands behind your back. Press the palms together if you can. And let's start to lift the fist up over your head. <clears throat> Rock your way forward just a little bit. Dropping the head. Take your time here. When you're ready, just let the hands come back down to the earth. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Spider crawl back to the Bring your left foot at the top of your screen. And then right foot steps up to meet the left. Forward fold. Toes touching, little space between the heels. Let's come right into our chair and fold. Sit nice and low. Find that core. Weight into the heels. See if you can lift all 10 toes. Hands to your heart. Twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right knee. Press your palms together a lot. See if you can get your thumbs into the space of your heart. Look at your left knee. Make sure it's not coming forward to the right. And then see if you can sit your bum just one inch lower than your heart. Nice. Inhale back to center. 
Hands come back to the space of your heart, twist to the left. Right elbow outside the left knee. Roll the left shoulder open. Pull the right knee back in line. Sit down. <clears throat> Keep lifting your toes to make sure your weight is in your heels. And then inhale back to center. And fold. <clears throat> inhale, lift and lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank pose. <clears throat> Hold the belly in tight. Your choice for vinyasa. I'll do knees, chest, chin this time, or on your toes. Looking forward the whole time on your inhale, lift to cobra or upward facing. Exhale, go back, downward facing dog. <sighs> All right. So let us start building the flow. This is a little different, <clears throat> so just go with it. Step your left foot in and ground your heel. So I want you to turn your left foot out to about 45 degrees. It steps in just enough so that you can get your heel down. So it's not really underneath your heart. It's not that short, just a little shorter. And then lift your right leg up. <clears throat> Come to the finger pads of your left hand. This might be where you stay. You might start to experiment with lifting that left arm up. You might just be able to grab somewhere along your left foot and look forward. Keep lifting your heart, finding this cross diagonal bound. Take your left hand back to the mat, pat to the ball of your left foot. Bring your right knee across your body, high up onto the left arm. Now extend the right leg out and try to get your foot in line with your hand. You should start to feel a really nice IT band stretch along your right leg. Now just sink your hips here for a second and just enjoy the stretch. Now come into fallen triangle. Ground your left heel. Inhale, lift up, reach the left corner up, and then overhead as you rotate your chest for the foot. Left hand down to the mat, right leg comes up and back. Finding your wide space. So I'm high onto the ball of the right foot, left leg is straight, and just drop your head back. Now look at your left hand, shoulder over wrist, coming into side plank, stack or side <clears throat> Reach the arm overhead. We're going to do those hip dips again. So hover the hip, and then inhale, lift. Hover the hip. Inhale, lift. One more time, hover the hip. Inhale, lift. Using your hands or not, bring your right knee into your chest and step it all the way to the top of the mat. Yeah. Hand comes down. Left foot steps in at about 45 degrees, setting up for warrior one. So you might tilt move your right foot out toward the right to give your hips more space. Use your inhale breath to stand up more than one. Reach the fingertips toward the ceiling. Look up, bend into your right knee, and press to the outside edge of your left foot. <clears throat> Interlace the hands behind you. Right thumb on top. Inhale, open the chest. Look up. And then exhale, fold. Bring your right shoulder inside of your right knee. Let the head go. Let everything just fall out of your head. You don't need it. Right hip back, left hip forward, belly engaged. Use your inhale breath to stand the back up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Right leg comes up and back. Mm -hmm. Now listen, I want you to start to hinge it forward for a single legged plank. <clears throat> and then I want you to lower down halfway, find your chaturanga. Maybe you're on your knee, that's fine. And press the mat away from your knee into your chest. Inhaling. Reversing that, bring your knee into your nose. And then send the legs straight back as you come into your chaturanga and just hold it for three, two, and one, come all the way down to the earth. Untuck your left toe, <clears throat> press the top of the foot into the floor. 
Reach your left arm forward, bend your right knee. Grab outside on the right foot. Coming into a half Dhanurasana, Ardha Dhanurasana. From here, start to kick it to your right hand, lift your left hand, lift your chest, and just find a little back bend here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Release the right leg. Bring your hands back underneath your chest. <clears throat> Press it back, child. Come. Counter in that stretch. Come back to your tabletop pose. Tuck the toes. Inhale, lift up. Breathe. <sighs> You've got this. Turn it around here. <clears throat> so moving to the other side. This time, same thing with your right foot. So your right foot comes down at a 45 degree angle. Heel is anchored. And we lift the left leg. <clears throat> so now we come to the finger pads of the right, right hand. Maybe you start to sweep the arm back. Maybe you just grab somewhere along the right calf. And look forward. Keep lifting the left leg up. Right hand comes down. Left knee comes across the body, high up onto the right arm. Extend the leg out. Foot comes in line with the hand, staying on the ball of the right foot. And just sink the hips a little bit and kind of enjoy that stretch. Right? Now ground the heel. Inhale, lift up, follow triangle. Reach the arm overhead and look under your bicep. Find that rotation on the back side. Right hand comes down to the mat. Left leg comes up and over. Find your leg. Inhale, lift up, reach. Breathe. Look at your right hand, shoulder over wrist. Find your version of side plank, stack or stagger. See if you can reach the arm overhead and lift your head. This is your inhale. Exhale, cover the hips. Keep the arms straight. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up. Bring your knee into your chest. Use your hands or not. See if you can step the left foot all the way to the top. Right heel comes down, toes at 45. Maybe the left heel walks out toward the edge of the mat, finding more space. Inhale, lift up, warrior one. Really find some length here. Keep pressing to the outside edge of your right foot. Inhale. Exhale as you bring the arms behind you, left thumb on top. Open up through the heart. Exhale, humble your warrior. Release the head the neck, but everything else stays engaged. See if you can press your palms together and pull your fist even over your head a little bit more. Breathe. Inhale, lift all the way up. Warrior we'll one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left leg comes up and back, three-legged down. Hinge it forward, single-legged plank. Keep looking forward. Now, either on the knee or on the toe, find a shutter and hold it here. As you press the mat away, bring your knee into your nose. And then inhale in. Reverse it. Knee to your nose, round the spine. And then the leg goes straight back as you find a shutter on it and we hold. Hold the belly in tight for three, two, and one. All the way there. Untuck your right toes, tap the foot into the floor. Reach the right arm forward. Bend the left knee and reach around if you can grab for the outside of the foot. <clears throat> Start by just pressing the top of the right foot into the floor so that the kneecap and the thigh lift. So keep the leg down. Start to lift up with the right hand and kick in to the left hand with the foot. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly. Release the foot. <clears throat> Hands come back by your shoulders. Press it back. Child. 
Take a couple extra breaths here, just finding your breath if you need some water or to towel off. Great time to do that, and then we'll carry on. Is everyone doing okay? I'm not hearing any complaints. You can hopefully you can hear me and see all of We'll start to add on to that flow. <clears throat> so when you're ready, find your downward facing dog. <clears throat> in downward facing dog, take a big deep breath in through your nose. And just take a clearing exhale, open your mouth, maybe even stick out the tongue and breathe. Adding up, step your left foot in, <clears throat> anchor the heel, lift the right leg, look forward, come to the finger pads of your left hand. Maybe you start to just bring the arm back, maybe it comes to the shin. If you want more, you can bend the right leg and maybe you reach back and grab that foot and start to kick into your hands as you look forward, finding more of a back. These are all just options. Left hand down to the mat, right leg comes across, tap tight. <clears throat> Extend the right leg and just stay. Find that hip stretch to sink the hips firm. Now ground the left heel, inhale, lift up, fall and turn. Reach the arm over, look under your leg. Left hand down, right leg comes up and over, tap the toe behind you. Inhale, lift up, fall. Look at your left hand, find your side leg. Reach the arm over, really lift the hip and find that side body stretch. Hover the hip. Inhale, lift. Pull the belly in, hover. And lift. One more time, hover. And lift. Bring your knee into the chest, step it all the way forward. Runner slunge. Left heel down to the mat. <clears throat> Inhale. Lift up for your one. <sighs> Release starting to bend more if you can into the right knee. Keep pulling the bone in. From here, I want you to come halfway forward. Pop to the ball of your left foot. So this is an arrow lunge here. Lift your shoulder blades. Your shoulder heads up and squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. From here, we're going to tap our left knee to our right, and the right arm comes forward. So a little tap. Then step back with your left foot, left hand to your thigh, and I just want you to reach up for this exalted crescent, not a twist, just straight up and back. And then come forward, tap your left knee to your right. So right arm is forward, left arm is back. And then step back, finding your exalted crescent. We have one more just like that. Step forward and hold it. Switch your arms, left arm forward. And then the left leg goes straight back. So finding kind of a warrior three with the left arm forward, right arm back. Hug your right hip underneath you. Flex your left foot down to the earth. And then open up for a warrior two. So you're in your warrior two. Thank you for a sec. Right? <clears throat> On an inhale, I'm going to tip it up and back, but both arms come overhead. So it's this, I don't know, exalted or uh, peaceful warrior with both arms overhead. And then come halfway forward, both arms overhead. Come all the way up and back. Hand comes down your thigh. And then windmill the hands down to frame your right knee. Left knee comes down to the earth. <clears throat> On an inhale, lift up, Anjali Asana. Hmm. Nice. And then exhale, come halfway forward. Sweep the arms behind you. So now you're in this. Arrow lunge with the knee down. Tuck your left toe, 
see if you can lift the left knee right into air lunge. So we'll do that again. <clears throat> Press into your right foot, tap your knees, right arm comes forward, left arm back. And then step back, exalted crescent, but not twisted, right? Tap it forward, and then bring it back. One more time like that. Tap it forward, hold, and then start to switch your arms. Left leg goes back, keep reaching the right arm back. Open it up, warrior two. Ah, breathe. Same thing. Take it up and back, both arms overhead. Find that side body stretch. And then both arms overhead, halfway forward. Inhale, reverse. Left hand comes down the thigh. Windmill it down. Left knee down to the earth. Keep the toe tight. Inhale, lift up on Janayasana. Exhale, cast it to the arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge it halfway forward. Arms go back. If the toe's not tucked, make sure you tuck it. And then see if you can lift up. Breathe. Really nice. Here we go. Last time. I know your right leg is feeling it. Tap the knees. Right arm forward, left arm back. And then step back. Exalted press. Tap it forward. Not a super big movement. And then come back. One more time. Bring it in. And then step it back. All right, last one. Bring it in. And then switch the arms. Left leg goes straight back. <clears throat> Open it up. Find your warrior two. Breathe. <sighs> This time, we'll switch it up a little bit. <clears throat> Bring your right arm under, palms together, thumbs towards your face, or just grab her opposite shoulders. So find an eagle arm here. On an inhale, straighten your legs and pivot open towards the side of your mat. Then bring your heels in, toes out, and sit really low. Finding your goddess squat here with eagle arm. And an inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. See if you can lift all 10 toes. Let your head go, sit really low. Now sitting this low, inhale, lift up. Remember the bum goes straight down. Try not to stick it out behind you. Lift up, reach up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Hmm. Sit low. Now, start to straighten your legs and find warrior two leading with your left foot. So left foot leads in warrior two. From here, I want you to just kind of start to tiptoe your right foot on, underneath you and come into a hovering half moon with your eagle arm. So we've done this before. The leg doesn't have to lift very high, right? You're just trying to open up chest, shoulders, hips, over toward the right side. Find your balance. Activate through the top side waist. And then step your right foot to meet the left at the back of your neck. Sit low. Find your chair pose. On an inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit lower. Right leg comes up and over the left, finding eagle. Sit really low. Try to pull your right hip back in line, squeeze your inner thighs as much as you can. Operate your upper body. Squeeze. Inhale, right knee lifts, arms up. Reach back, grab for the inside of your right foot. This time coming into Sanyarasana, full bone pose. So keep your knees together. Start to kick into your right hand as you slowly start to hinge forward, a soft bend into your left knee as far. 
just softening it and start to kick into your knees. Finding that last bend, breathe. And then gently release. Feet come together, stand still. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift down. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to high plank pose. Breathe. You got this. Either knees, chest, chin, or hinging forward. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, go back. Downward facing dog. Moving to the other side. So plant your right foot. Heel comes down, toes at 45, and lift your left leg. Come to the finger pads of your right hand. Maybe you play with floating that hand back. Maybe you grab the thigh, the somewhere along the right leg. Maybe you bend the left knee and start to grab for the foot, kick into the foot, and lift the heart, finding that back. Right hand down to the earth, left knee comes across the body, high up onto the arm, and then extend the leg out, foot in line with the hand. Find deep the hip stretch, just enjoy it, it feels good. And then ground the right heel, inhale, lift up, reach up, and reach the arm over the head. Right hand down, left leg up and over, wide thing. Lift up. Find your side plank. Make sure you're stacked. You can stack or stagger the feet, but shoulders right over the wrist. Reach the arm forward. Hover the hips. Inhale, lift. Hover the hips. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift up. Knee into the chest. Step it forward. Finding your runner's punch. Right heel down this time. <clears throat> Finding your warrior one. Inhale. Good job. <clears throat> so find that strong warrior one. Breathe. Now, come halfway forward, finding your air lunge. So, tap to the ball of your right foot. Really lift your shoulder heads up and then squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. So, your chest is lifted, your belly is engaged. <clears throat> tap your right knee to your left, left arm forward, <clears throat> leg arm back. And then step back and find your exalted crescent, but going straight back, not twisting. Come forward, left arm forward, right arm back, and then step back. One more here, we stay. And then start to switch the arm, right leg goes back, finding kind of an awkward variation of warrior three, and then open it up, warrior two. Great. Tip it up and back all both arms are overhead, just stretching through the side body, and then both arms stay overhead as you come halfway forward. Keep hugging your left hip on your knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior right hand can come down. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame your left foot. Right knee comes down to the earth, keep the foot tucked. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pass it. Inhale. Exhale, come halfway forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades, tuck the right toe. Lift the right knee, arrow lunge. Here we go with those knee taps. Right knee taps, left arm full. Step back, exalted crescent. Come forward, tap the knee. Step it back, exalted crescent. One more time, bring it forward. Yep, and then switch the legs, right arm forward, left leg back, keep hugging the left hip underneath you. Open it up, 
warrior two. Tip it up and back, both arms overhead, and then both arms halfway forward. Arm comes down, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Anjaneya, right knee down. Keep the toe tucked. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Maybe you practice, maybe just keep going straight back. And then come halfway forward, arms fly behind you. Toe is tucked, lift the knee. Last time, tap the knees, left arm forward, right arm back. And then step it back, exalted crown. Come forward, step it back. Let's do one more like that. Tap the knee and then step it back. Last time, tap it in, hold it, and then start to extend. Switch the arms. Breathe. Open it up. Warrior two. Good. You made it. This time, left arm comes underneath. Palms together, thumbs to your face, or grab for the shoulders. Breathe. Sit up. Straighten the legs, parallel the feet, and then heels in, toes out, step and step it up. See if you can even lift the elbows more in line with the shoulders. You should feel a nice stretch across the back of the shoulder blades. Now, inhale, maybe you even arc up, look up. Exhale, crunch it and fold. Lift all ten toes, drop the neck, pull the belly in tight. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up. Sit up. And then straighten the legs. <clears throat> Warrior two now, meeting with your right leg. <clears throat> Finding that warrior two. Start to tiptoe the left foot in, coming into our hovering half moon. So the leg does not have to go high. Just trying to stay open and activate to the top side waist. Hug your right hip underneath you and breathe. And then step your left foot to meet your right. Toes together. Sit low, chair pose. Call the belly in tight. <clears throat> Facing you guys on an inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit lower. This time the left leg comes up and over the right. Squeeze everything in. So you can kickstand. You can single or double wrap. Keep trying to pull the left hip back so that you're lining up your joints. Squeeze your inner thighs together as much as you can. Sit low. You even have the option to bow if you want to practice a little extra balance challenge. <clears throat> Taking your time. And then start to upright. Find yourself in crane pose. Arms up. Bend your left knee behind you. Grab for the inside aspect of your left foot. So you don't want to twist the hand. You want to keep the hand open toward the left side of your mat. Knees together. Inhale, reach up. Find length first. Start to kick into your hand first. And then start to hinge forward. Soft knee on the right side, just so that you're not locking anything out. It'll also help with balance. Kick and reach with equal force. Look out, not down. If you get out, just get right back into it. Take one more breath. And then inhale, lift up. Feet knee. Breathe. Really nice heel case. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. We're almost there. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale. Inhale, lift down, lift down. Exhale. Separate your feet about hip distance. Option for either 
a yogi tulak around those toes, peace fingers to big toes, or padahastasana, hands under feet, toes all the way to the wrist creases. Bend your knees as much as you need to to make one of those connections. Drop your head. <clears throat> On an inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forehead to shin, crown your head toward the floor, shoulders away from the ears. And as always, keeping the core really tight. Do it again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Gently release the hands from underneath the feet. <clears throat> inhale, let's go lengthen. Exhale, and your way through. If you're hopping, just remember to land into the chaturanga with bent elbows. And then we'll meet in a downward facing dog. <clears throat> Starting to slow things down just a little bit here. And changing it up yet again. <laughs> this time we're going to start by taking the right foot down. So same as before, but just starting with a different foot. Right foot down, toes at 45. <clears throat> left leg lifts. <clears throat> Come to the finger pads of your right hand. The so same option to reach back, grab for the leg. Maybe you just stay here with the finger pads. Maybe you try again and grab that foot, kick into it, lift up, reach up, find that back bend, and then right hand down. Left knee comes across high up on the elbow. Now listen. I want you to hop and switch. Right knee across. Hop and switch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Left foot comes, left knee across. Extend it out. Got your heart rate up there a little bit. Keep the foot up. Find a stretch. Ground the heel, inhale, lift up, reach up. Reach the arm overhead. And then slide it down, thumb all the way down. Oh, breathe. Walk the hands forward. Let's find a little stretch here. Really keep these feet active, so flex the feet. Breathe. Hmm. Walk the hands in. I know we've been doing this a lot lately, but I think it's good for us. Hands to the heart or maybe hands behind you. I want you to see if you can pick up the right leg and just start to sweep it forward and back. So hip flexor, inner thigh, core. Use your hands behind you if you like. That's fine. Maybe you practice with hands to heart. For five, four, Three, two, and one. Set it down. Hand, left hand comes back behind you. Lift back up into that fallen triangle. Now just listen. Hover the hips. Inhale, lift. Hover the hips. One more time. Inhale, lift. Hover the hips. Inhale, lift. Right hand down. Left leg comes up. And back. <clears throat> Bring the knee into the nose. Step it forward, run and slouch. Open up right away for warrior two. <clears throat> Breathe. You got it. Inhale, parallel the feet, touch the palms. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come right into your hovering half moon this time. Sliding the foot underneath. Arms can be overhead. You can sweep them behind you. Maybe hands to heart. Just really, once again, activating through that side waist. And then from here, see if you can keep the left leg lifted and just come in to your crane pose. 
<clears throat> and just working those balance poses one more time. Left leg over, left arm under, come right into your eagle. Squeeze it in. Sit as low as you can. Squeeze everything into the midline. And then come back to your crane pose. One more chin. Down your asana. Pull your knees together. Here we go. Start to reach and kick. I know sometimes it takes me a few tries on these balance poses. I need to be really warmed up. So I should feel good. And release. Bring the feet together, stand tall. All right. Just one more side, and we'll be done. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, find your vinyasa. <clears throat> Downward facing it. Step your left foot in, toe is at 45. Lift to the right leg. Come to the finger pads of the left. Find your option. Maybe the, the leg, maybe you grab for the right foot. Maybe you start to kick. Find your mount back bend. And then left hand down, right leg comes across. <clears throat> find that stretch here. And then find your fallen chest. Lift up, reach up. And then slide it all the way down. Finding that stretch. Flexing the foot, feet, <laughs> both feet. <sighs> all right. This time it's the left leg. Hands to your heart, maybe behind you. Sitting up as tall as you can and really engaging the core. Just start to sweep the leg forward and back. For five. Just doing the best that you can. Three, two, and one. Set it down. Right hand comes back behind you. Lift back up for your fall on trunk. Keep this right arm straight as you just hover the hips and then inhale, lift up. Hover and lift. One more time to hover and lift. Left hand comes down, right leg comes up and back. And then step it forward. Come right into your warrior two. Open it up. One sun breath, inhale, parallel the feet. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, tip it up and back. Exhale, arms come overhead. Start to tiptoe the right knee. Keep that left toe going straight ahead. Try not to let it turn out. I know it's hard. Activate your side waist. And then see if you can come right into your eagle from here. So right arm under, right leg over. Squeeze everything into the midline. Sit low. Keep hugging your hips. And then inhale, lift up, crane pose. Last time, finding your diamond rocks and are grabbing from the inside aspect of your right foot. Knees together first. Inhale, form length. Exhale. Start to hinge forward and kick. Look out, not down. Try to keep it in line with the hip. Don't let it flare out. And bring it back up. Feet meet. Big breath in. That's how I go. Arms come up. Fold it all the way down. Inhale, lift them, lengthen. That's how I Plant the palms, walk, step, or float. Find your vinyasa. Go back, downward facing down. Start to make our way down toward the earth. Start to roll it forward, round it, break it up. And then as slowly as you can, start to hug your elbows in. 
and come all the way down to your belly. <clears throat> and tuck your toes. <clears throat> Reach your arms back behind you. Take your palms down, forehead down. We'll start with a locust pose. <clears throat> really press down to the tops of your feet. Start to lift your head and your chest up. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor or your shoulder heads off the floor. Crown and head forward. Keep the hands down, feet down. Now maybe start to fly the arms behind you, lifting them up. Maybe the left foot. <clears throat> Rolling onto the soft part of your belly. Pointing your toes. Finding length from crown of head all the way through your toes. Exhale, release. Bring your favorite cheek down to the earth. Tops of the palms into the floor, heels fall out to the side. Come back to center. <clears throat> you can do that again. If you'd like to try something different, find that clasp of your hands, palms pressed together. Forehead down. This time bring your toes together to touch. <clears throat> Lift your head and your chest. Lift your shoulder head. Squeeze the palms together, lift your fists off of your low back. Maybe you start to lift the legs. A little tuck of the chin so you're not cranking the neck and the crown of the head is going straight forward. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, release. Bring your other cheek down to the earth. Arms down by your sides. Let your heels fall out towards the side. All right, last time. So you can practice your locust pose, either version. Again, if you'd like full Danyarasana, grabbing for the feet. So this is, grip is different than what we do standing. It's on the outside of the feet. <clears throat> Try to keep your knees as close together as you can. Take the forehead back down to the earth. Again, lift your shoulder heads away from the mat. <clears throat> Pull your feet in towards your bum as best you can. Now, <clears throat> without doing anything, put some tension into your hands. Then start to lift your head and your chest. Don't lift your legs yet. Keep lifting up with the upper leg. Now start to lift the leg. Try to keep the knees as close together as you can. <clears throat> Maybe you rock back to the soft part of your belly. Lift up. Exhale, release. This time, make a little pillow for your forehead, and you might just windshield wiper the legs back and forth. <clears throat> release the legs. Hands come back by your rib cage. Press it back, child. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog, just to come into half pigeon pose. If you prefer supine figure four, you can lay on your back. Or take the right leg up and then bring the right knee outside the right wrist as you slide it down. And tuck the left toe. Make sure that the leg is coming straight out of the hip. And exhale, surrender. Finding your favorite version. If you want more quad stretch, King Pigeon or Half Mermaid are there for you if you'd like. The shoulder stretch with the left arm under. Taking your time, you can linger here in this pose if you'd like to stay. Maybe you slide to slide the left knee behind the right. Taking the feet out to the edges of your mat as you sit back for Gomukhasana. <clears throat> Option to stay upright. 
Maybe you start to reach the arms forward and find this child's pose version with, with Gomukhasana leg. A little more stretch into the outer hip. Walk the hands back towards you if you fold it over. Roll over your knees. Come up, downward facing dog. You can wiggle the hip, kind of stretch it out. And then we'll move to the other side, bringing the left leg up. Left knee up, side the left wrist. Sliding it. Untuck the toes. <clears throat> Finding your leg first, checking your alignment. And then just surrender. Same option for a king pigeon, a half mermaid, a shoulder stretch would be right arm under. Take your time. <clears throat> when you're ready, just start to come to your hand. Slide the right knee behind the left. Coming back to that bone constant of sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> Maybe stay upright. Again, you have that option to reach it forward. I think this feels so amazing on the hip. And start to walk the hands back toward you as you're ready. And this time we'll just untangle the legs, bring them straight down in front of you. You're sitting up as tall as you can, kind of to your sit bones. So might have a little bend into the knees in order to be able to make that happen. Reach the arms forward, pull the belly in tight, and as slowly as you can, start to round it all the way down. One vertebrae at a time, nice and controlled. Hmm. If you're ready for Shavasana, you can go right into that. <clears throat> if you'd like one more front body opening, you can walk the feet underneath you. Coming back to that bridge pose, just like we did at the beginning of class. Hands down by your side, fingertips grazing the heels, knees, heels. Hips, everything in the sink. Take one inhale to lift up, rocking the weight back into the shoulders, lifting the chest toward the ceiling and your chin away from your chest. Lengthening your tailbone towards your hips. Breathe. And then as slowly as you can, rolling it back down to the earth one more. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, right hand to your heart, left hand to your belly. Close your eyes. Finding stillness and meditation. Staying in Sukta Vajrasana for as long as is comfortable for you. Of course, you have the option for more traditional Shavasana, extending the legs and arms. But just finding a space where you can be still for a few minutes.
my soul and I share some. I honor the love, light, peace, beauty, strength, and kindness within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, there is no distance and no difference between us. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. Miss seeing you. Hope you all have an amazing day. <clears throat> Stay in your shavasana as long as you need. <clears throat>